Thank you so much, guys. Well, as you prepare to return to the Octagon against Alistair Overeem, what has this week in Florida been like for you? Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, my team's here. Um, we've been training every day and hanging out every day and uh, keeping things light like we usually do, trying to keep the same type of energy around the uh, fight week, and it's been amazing. You mentioned energy. I saw you uh, showing that energy on the treadmill in the gym earlier this week. You were doing some crazy sprints. I know you put a lot of focus on your conditioning for this one. It is scheduled for 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a little bit about what that training has been like? Oh, it's been awesome. Uh, my coaches have done a great job of making sure I'm in shape and ready to go the full five if need be. You know, of course, I don't plan on letting it go five, but um, we're prepared to go wherever the fight uh, may, t may go. And, um, you know, we've been... Uh, doing something we do at the at the gym called Ironmans. Um, you know, I did a lot of pool work uh, with my strength and conditioning coach, Kenneth. Um, you know, so we've been hitting it hard, man, as, as, as much as we can. I did a lot of road work in my in my neighborhood, and I did some home workouts, too. Um, you know, some home P90X. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've been grinding, you know, just trying to make sure we're prepared to put on the show Saturday, Saturday night. And being prepared means ready for, you know, wherever this fight may go, which includes going to the canvas. I think sometimes people could potentially overlook the work that you put in in the wrestling and grappling departments, but we know you're doing the work. For Is this sure. something that you're looking forward to possibly being able to show? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I, I'm always anxious to get to show what uh, Coach Chris is putting in me. You know, he's got my confidence in an all-time high. Um, he's taking my game uh, to a whole nother level, you know, so it's only made my striking better, which is why you kind of see the um, the knockouts coming, the success and the confidence on my feet. But, um, you know, if we go to the ground, I'm super confident there. Um, and, you know, if we end up grappling, I'm super confident in those exchanges. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm prepared to go wherever the fight may go, but um, I'm trying to get it, get him out of there in the first round. Well, I mean, you've, you've needed, what, a barely over a minute for your last two opponents combined. Um, so, so the magic is in your hands. Is that the secret to success for this one? Yeah, that's the secret sauce. It's always been the secret sauce. Um, you know, my whole career, that's kind of been my claim to fame is uh, my ability to strike. Um, all my wins are by knockout. Um, I almost got a submission in the UFC. Um, I didn't quite finish it, uh, you know, because these guys up here are pretty tough. I had 10 seconds left in the round. He got out. But, um, you know, I, I feel like uh, that's what the fans want to see, and that's what I'm here to do. Um, when I signed on the dotted line, when I found, uh, first got in the UFC, I wanted to be a fan favorite type of fighter, and um, I think that's what they want. So I'm always looking to do the pu push for the knockout, but, um, you know, not be too, um, you know, gung-ho about it and make mistakes. I, I try to let it come to me. Yeah, well, I mean, you've become, you're the big ticket for a reason. You've become known for these um, amazing highlight reel finishes. But, well, before I let you go, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you just what does being able to walk out to the Octagon and compete and have this fight against Alistair do for not just you, but also for your family who's at home right now? Uh, this is everything for us. Um, you know, it's giving us a respite from, uh, you know, the drama in our daily lives, our day-to-day -day lives. Um, and it's gotten me an opportunity to get back to doing what I love to do and what I know my daughter loved to see me do. Um, she was my biggest fan. So um, that's been my motivation throughout this whole camp. You know, when I felt like I couldn't get out of bed in the morning, um, I used her as motivation. I could hear her talking to me and keep, you know, keep going, Dad, push, push, push. So. Um, you know, I feel like I'm powered by something special right now. And I feel like, um, you know, I can run through a brick wall. I can do anything when I'm in that octagon. And it's, uh, it's magnified now that she's in there with me and watching over me. So um, I can't wait to get in there tomorrow night and put on the show. And we can't wait to watch you. Well, good luck to you. Have some fun out there. We appreciate your time. Will do. Thank you. It's Thanks. always good to talk to you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.